Well then, let's continue this. One, two. Now I just hold left for a while until I hear a noise. Or until I get into a battle, which will probably happen first, to be honest. Yep, called it. Man, this is a little bit too loud, so I think... Like, I didn't notice before because it was just a ch ch ch, -ch noise, but... When it's in a battle, it's like, oh, suddenly I can't even hear what I'm saying anymore. Now I do the menu trick. I'm already standing in the doorway, so I'll enter the door automatically. So I don't need to worry about that. But, gotta make sure when the cutscene's over. Now I go left enough until I hit this switch. Now I hit the switch again, because that unlocks this. You can make it around otherwise, I think, even without the sprint shoes. But, obviously, it's much, much easier to just do it that way. I, I didn't even know about that for the longest time, but thankfully I know it at this point because it really helps out here. Doing a race around there would have been painful, I must say, because it's not very nicely laid out for me to get up there really fast and you have to pretty much do it perfectly, <laughs> so that would likely be difficult to do, although considering it's only a Genji Glove anyways, I'd probably just skip it. Why am I spending all my time talking when I'm going downwards? I don't even have to go that far downwards. I gotta go really far left. Yeah, this is still too loud. I think it had, I had it at 30 before. Doesn't really matter. Most of the meat of this segment is going to be just pure navigation, or at least this mini segment anyway, because I will be fighting Rexel in this segment, which will actually be the first boss that's gonna be even halfway interesting in a while. The bosses, uh, for the last little bit, have just been pansies that can't really pierce my defenses. But Rexel gets around that problem by forcing me to pierce my own defenses. <laughs> Alright, that's probably far enough. In fact, that's way more than far enough. Down one. Now I walk through the chest, like, just straight through the row of chests here. It makes a flail noise for some reason when I put the lump of metal in the chest. Apparently I failed to take a step right. Um, what? Apparently I took one step too far, which I didn't expect, but... It's all good. Not too hard to figure out, so... So I go all the way down, all the way left. One thing to note that's really nice, to get to the, uh, like... To actually exit the side of a train car, if I'm at the top or the bottom, all I have to do is go two steps and towards the exit, like this. One, two. Since it works the same way in every train car, they're all proportionally identical. I mean, dimensionally, I I don't know. And neither of those are terms anyway. But <laughs> uh, down. I don't have a lot of time, I don't know if I can do this segment from here. Down. Left. One. Well, at least I'm moving. It's a good thing, I suppose. Maybe I somehow put the thing in the chest at the wrong place. And then that stopped me from going back down again. After I grabbed what was in the... Grabbed the flame shield. Is this a pincer attack? It's probably a pincer attack. Uh, where are my warp stones? Phoenix down. Oh, well, that's a pain in the butt. Phoenix down. Something warp stones? Oh wait, yeah, I would have to press the button again. Yep, I was right. Not a big deal if I get a pincer attack right now. Gogo and Shadow can be killed, but I'm not sure what can hurt Gao here, if anything. So yeah. 
Wait, I forget how many steps I took up before I got into that encounter. Dang it, that was bad timing. Uh, let's try this again, and if it fails, I'm just gonna restart. It happened not to fail, <laughs> thankfully. Because uh, I was like running through the possibilities in my head of where I was at any given point in time, and that was the last one I had to check. So, if that had failed, I would have had no clue what was going on. Something would have gone wrong at some point that I wouldn't even know where it went wrong, and that would just sink my whole ship. So now I go around this uh, bench here. This room looks scary, but I don't think it's that bad. Partly because I get noises as to where I am like every two seconds. And there's also this very handy table that's placed in exactly the right spot to make this a lot easier. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, obvious. like, to be honest, this puzzle isn't very complicated and I already had the answer memorized even before going through here, and you don't really need much more than that because Everything's so tight around here that it's actually beneficial. Because I already kind of know-ish the dimensions of things thanks to the puzzle itself. So the only thing I really have to remember is take one step back here to be able to reach this switch. So now that thing goes to the right and uncovers the last switch that I need to be pressing. Oh wow. Not coming at very nice times here. Probably just punched Gao and did nothing. I think I had two characters escape, which I'm actually kind of surprised about, considering how long it took me to muddle through that pincer attack. So yeah, I can't hit the uh, switch to the left to raise the boxes again just yet, because I need to hit the other switch or I can't get back out. all the way to the right. So I hit that, go all the way down, back to the table, and a lot of these steps get repeated as well, but I feel like I'm less memorizing it and more just figuring it out as I go along half the time here because just I've got all the puzzle pieces, I just need to put them together in a certain way. around the boxes. And now I should hopefully line myself up with this treasure chest. I leave it till now because it'll allow me to make sure of where I am now instead of having to go out of my way to get it and not getting an indicator of anything later earlier. Thanks for the uh, ice shield there. The ice shield and the flame shield are pretty nice hauls. Now I've got two of each as well as two thunder shields. So I've got as much shields as I'm going to get, essentially. And all the shields that are elemental are really helpful generally, so... So yeah, after I go all the way to the left, I have to solve another puzzle based on what happened in the last room, uh, like the last uh, train compartment, or if you hit the switch it'll show you the answer to this puzzle. One, two, three. Thankfully, I obviously already know the answer. And this is another area that's actually really easy to visualize. There we go. That should unlock the way to the end of this dungeon here. Kind of a strange dungeon, but not much chance to be dying to random encounters here, and it's not super long, so that's okay with me. After that, I'll only have one portion to go before Rexel. How am I doing on time? I forgot. 25 minutes before I gotta get to class, and I'm way ahead of schedule, really. One, two. Now I can exit the train car. 
Now th this train car right here has a save point in it, so if I made it here, that's the end of the segment essentially. Yep. I might not be standing on the save point, but yeah, I'm one step up. Who cares? I'm not going to restart the segment for that. One more part to go. No, two more parts to go. Because I made it across this train, then I've got to get to Doma Castle, and then I've got to fight Rexel, and I'm out of here. Well, 19 minutes till class. Uh, maybe I'm being a bit foolhardy by jumping into this and trying to get it done, but it's really short, so I should hopefully be able to make it through. If I don't make any mistakes, I should be able to. See, so yeah, I go left and up here until I reach this doorway. Which, unfortunately, I can't enter from the side. Visually, it doesn't look like I can enter this from the side, so I can understand why, but sometimes the doorways like this will let you do that. And now I just walk back out again, and this segment's pretty much over. Alright, so now I can just menu trick here, and one thing I just realized that probably would have been helpful a multitude of times throughout this playthrough is that if I'm walking straight in a direction and I do the menu trick, I can't actually open the menu until I hit the wall. So that actually allows me to tell when the wall is. It's not like super amazing here, but there are some places where I'd walk very far in one direction and it might be handy to have that knowledge. So now I just walk back out of this room. After hitting a random encounter. I should only get like one random encounter, maybe two in here. The IO rage would be useful probably in some certain situations, but it's too painful to get it because there's only one encounter on the velt that'll actually give me the IO rage, and this place is also one of the later places on my list. So I mean, it's just not worth it. Not at this point in the game. Traveler's so good anyway. The only advantage to IO Rage is that I can use Rage properties to give myself permanent vanish status, but considering Gao can hit perfect defense and Gogo can hit perfect magic evasion, I don't see that being super helpful at this point. It might have been helpful a long time ago, but I didn't go here a long time ago anyway, and it still would have been painful to get the Rage. Although that trick with the uh, doing the menu trick to figure out when I hit the wall, it doesn't work with pseudo diagonals anyway because I take my finger off the button for a couple moments and the menu will open during that time, so it doesn't help me at all. Okay, so maybe the cutscene has ended. Up to the left. I was thinking, oh, I'll probably have to wait for this cutscene to end when I get here. So I don't have to be worried if I if it takes a moment for the noise happens, but in all reality, I'm way too slow at doing this to, to beat Cyan's cutscene to the, that spot. So, see, so yeah, a cutscene and then it's over, unless the battle springs up in the step between the one step between here and the save point, in which case, jerks. I took Shadow instead of Mog because he's pretty good at killing my own characters, even if he's not super good at killing the enemy team. <laughs> Funny how that works out, but yeah, don't be fooled, I haven't actually touched the save point yet, it just appeared. I mean, of course you're not fooled <laughs> because uh, you're not blindfolded, obviously, unless you're like wearing a blindfold to like do it as part of the experience or something, but that would be silly because you don't e you don't know which buttons I'm pressing, so it doesn't make sense. You wouldn't be able to follow along that way anyway. Uh, one more part to this, and scariest part of this dream sequence for sure, especially since if it turns out I've made a mistake that I need to correct, well, I'm not going to back out at this point. I'm just going to go until I get lucky, <laughs> but that kind of sucks too. Well, time for the Rexel segment, with hopefully one more Rexel attempt than in the last attempt at this segment. I gotta go around the chair, and then I just walk down and out of the room. I'd go down and left from a certain point, but 
It turns out that I have a chance of going left after I exit the door, or a chance of going right. I mean, or a chance of going down, and if I go the wrong way, it actually makes a difference here, so I can't do that. The interior of the room before the throne room, I guess it's a foyer or something, uh, it's laid out somewhat similarly to Figaro's. It's ex in fact, it's exactly the same number of steps to reach the doorway in the center. One, two, three, four, five, and I already know that one, so... I was probably like a step before the door, too. Hopefully no impacts this time around. I can actually get to try in the part that actually matters. Sounds like everyone escaped. Let's make absolute sure. Get fat. Maybe I was more than one step back, but whatever. So yeah, now I just have to mash this button here until I get to the actual fight itself. Here we go. So, uh, first plan is switch to shadow. Oh yeah, gotta skip through the dialogue, I guess. This is shadow. So, throw a shuriken at yourself, please. Okay, so this is Gao. So I want you to revive Shadow, please. Rexel apparently did not come out for Shadow there. Shadow is not the person who I needed to kill. So now I need to skip back around to Shadow's turn again. Everyone's fairly well protected in this fight. The main danger is the fact that I can get stuck in an infinite loop, or that I could get stuck in killing myself somehow, or something like that. Uh, so, shuriken's at the top, ninja star, attack star, that'll be gone later, and shadow edge. So this is Gogo, because he's set up on Mimic, so I need to switch to Gao, just because I want to set him up on Rage for the moment. Now let's get back to shadow. So continue your throwing spree, shuriken, ninja star, and hit Gogo -Go in the face. Apparently it was not Gogo -Go either. That's unfortunate. It means that I'll have to do more killing myself. Okay, so ninja star still, and hit Gao this time. He's not dead yet, because he's got too much HP. Dang level 14, think he's above everyone else. Alright. So I gotta wait around for... Uh, do I wait around for Shadow's turn? I don't think I do. Phoenix down. Gao. Get Gao on his feet so that I can start doing stuff. Ah, who comes up first, Gao or Gogo? I should have checked that. Okay, this is probably Gogo. Oh, I was wrong, it's Gao. He had to revive Gogo, didn't he? Uh, Phoenix down, Warpstone, Thunder Rod. Right? Oh, shoot. Right, left. Alright, now Gogo -Go has to mimic that. Shuriken, Ninja Star, Attack Star. And now Attack Star to the face. The reasoning for behind doing this is that he has just over 20,000 HP, which means that I want him to be knocked to just below that 20,000 HP mark. And now, I'm probably not going to be able to do anything in time. Actually, I could at least try, couldn't I? This should be Gao. Oh wow, I got lucky. No, I didn't. Well shoot, I messed myself up. 
I'm supposed to use the stereo audio to determine uh, whether the Traveler hits Rexel or the Soul Saver, but it's hard to tell. Actually, I don't need to use my stereo audio at all. I can tell by if they go in and out like that. Well, I'm being an idiot. So, the question is... I'm going to kill Gao. Well, that was too slow. Well, this is uh, turning into a bit of a mess, but as long as Shadow doesn't get hit... And Shadow does still have image, hopefully. Rexel was not in Gao, which is actually somewhat helpful here, because Gogo's already raging, and I don't want him to be raging yet. Why did I throw a ninja star there? I mean, it's not really that much of a waste, all things considered, but... What? You're supposed to be Shadow, right? I don't get it. Oh, you're in your item menu for some reason? I totally forgot about that. Okay, so apparently Rexel decided now was the moment to come out. But I want Shadow. I want Gogo on his feet before I have Gao do anything. Because I want him to mimic a traveler when it goes after Rexel. That way I don't have to get my 1 out of 9 chance going off twice. Actually, it's not 1 out of 9, is it? It's 1 out of 6, whatever. I can't math today, apparently. Okay, so now we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'll use my newer and better method of determining. Yep. I should have thought of this earlier, to be honest. Using using the fact that the soul savers disappear is a lot cleaner than trying to guess with the stereo audio, which doesn't work so well. Alright, this should kill him if he doesn't zinger first. Dead. Alright. Goodbye, Rexel. Beating the fight wasn't hard, it was just making sure it didn't take forever. And in this case, it, I actually mean literally forever, because if uh, something went wrong and Gao and Gogo ended up stuck on Rage, and uh, they would have been doing that forever. <laughs> just whacking the Soul Savers and not dying, because they're not going to die to the crud the Soul Savers use. Gogo would die eventually, because his magic block isn't perfect, but Gao would never die. <laughs> I would literally have no option but to reset. So yeah, maybe you can... Maybe if you were uh, wondering why I was taking Shadow, of all people, at the beginning of this, well, now it makes perfect sense, because his throw pierces the defenses of my other characters very well, in fact, and the f he can defend himself with those uh, shadow wedges, which prevents the physical attacks from killing him, unlike other characters, which would have a chance of dying to those. So Shadow's just a great pick all around here. Originally I was thinking maybe I'd do some sort of Discord strat with Strago, where I Discord the uh, Soul Savers, and I did that in my LLNEG. But it's not useful at all here, apparently. I've got better strats available. I just really like that strat because Discord is like never useful in this game. And hilariously, the exact right circumstances popped up that made it incredibly useful. I don't remember, I think the music fades back in at the end of this cutscene. don't just, like, go away and stuff. <laughs> the other danger is that maybe I'd kill Gao and then have my other characters get wiped in that time, but, like, because literally the only way that 
Gao can die in this fight is if I kill him. But the chances of anything happening that way would be incredibly slim. I'd need uh, something to pierce Gogo's M block at the exact time that Shadow's image runs out and he gets nailed by something. It's just like, that's not gonna happen. Well, actually, I killed Shadow there too and forgot to re, re put his image up, so there's that. Down, left. At least that fight was, you know, a little bit more thought provoking than the last, like, eight fights because. Invincibility doesn't win the fight for me there. Now I go left and down a bunch. Don't want to forget that Alexander Magic site. I've actually got to take the exact same path and back into the throne room to get it, but I don't care. Memorizing the same path twice is really just memorizing it once. One, two, three, four, five. Thankfully, I uh, worked at that hiccup from earlier before, so it's not going to happen this time. That hiccup, that won't be shown in the bloopers, because I generally don't record... I generally don't leave around bloopers that are like 30 seconds long anymore, because it's just sort of like, what's the point? It's not like there was anything interesting that happened. Alright, so I'm not sure whether I walked entirely into the door, or just into the door but not quite into the entrance, the exit tile. But either way, one step down, all the way to the right. Left one, and all the way down. And if I did everything correctly, we've only got three places left on the list. Fanatix Tower, Abbott's Rock, and Kefka's Tower. And I did not do everything correctly, apparently. Oh yeah, right, it's two steps to the left. Yay! Victory! In one, I'm gonna have to fight randomness. One place, I'm gonna have to fight boredom. Neither of those sound like much fun, but... Whatever. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. <laughs> 